Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like. And subscribe with the lower case and so on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. Broken Chains, Day Chapter 3, Day 8, Continued, Kylie. So, Day 8. Continued. So I feel like he fought a hundred heartless just after that fight with the two Weehews. And it wasn't just the fight with them. He was, it was what one of them, the, the real one, so I thought, had said. Let's try to think of what Weehew has said brought a sharp pain to his head. He couldn't even think about it. What was going on? Sora brought his hands to his head and massaged his temples, trying to get his most weak headache to go away. I felt what felt like forever. Sora felt the pain we seed. He was back in his room. The superior must have dropped him off here and left. Nominee wasn't here either. But how exhausted so he was, so accommodated calling it a night and going to sleep. But he was too antsy. He needed a train some more. He returned to the 13th floor. So it wasn't quite so why, but the superior told him he needed to stay on this one. Something to do with his memories, most likely. The 13th floor of the Castle Barbarian was special. One didn't need a world card to be able to transcend it, and that was when Saul realized it. He couldn't form world cards, likely because he couldn't remember any of the worlds he'd been told he visited. Even then, he wasn't sure what any of the other worlds were like. Nominee hasn't really told him much about them. As Sora encountered some heartless, he had to wonder, what were other worlds like? Were they like this castle, large, empty, and so binary white? Were they like Nominee's drawings, colorful? Sora was, wasn't sure how long he spent like that. What pondering and saying heartless, he fell into a rhythm, which allowed him to think more. He took down the last dark ball in the room. That was when he noticed Nominee on the other side of the room. I heard about your fight with the weak hues, she said. How did that feel? How did it feel? So wasn't expecting that. During the fight, he wasn't, he had it fight about how he, it, he felt. He just wanted to protect Nominee. But that was a want. He focused again on the fight. What he what did he feel? Hurt. I feel hurt. So I replied. But I'm not so sure why. You told me that me and Riku used to be best friends. What happened? Nani looked down and brought her fingers together. There's a lot that happened. And I'm not sure. How much I could tell you? Oh, Sora said. He felt disappointment wise of it in him. There, there may be something else he could talk about, though it would definitely give him a headache. There was something else we could talk about, and it really makes my head hurt to even think about it. Not many who's. As expected, Sora's head exploded with pain. He put his hands to his head and crunched over. He felt like he was going to be sick. But it was worth it. 
He had to know why this name made his head hurt so much. Emily saw where he was seated on the ground, nominating next to him. There was worry in the indigo eyes. Are you okay? She asked. So I nodded. That headache was worse. Why? What was it about that name that was so painful? But still, he had to know. Something portrayed his curiosity. And so it's entirely... It wasn't entirely sure why. Who is that person? He tried and said. No headache this time. Nominee sighed and walked away. She took a few moments before she answered. She was... Another close friend. Kind of like we kill. Her words were slow. Like she was trying to say the right thing. And you? So I added. Nominee Grimace. Yeah. And me. But why do I get a headache when I hear Riku's name? You lost your memories of her in a different way. And now I can't even access those memories. Sora folded his arms. I'm probably going to for forget about this, aren't I? Over the last couple of days, he'd been in iffy of on how much he remembered. He could never remember what meals he had, or even if he had eaten. His only way of judging that for the moment was asking nominate and taking stock of how hungry he was. He couldn't even remember what heart was he fought. It's possible, Nominee replied. Your memory's been approving, though, so you might remember it. Sora laid down, his arms above his head. I wish I could remember visiting those other worlds. They can't all be like the castle, right? They not. They all so different from here, and even eat. And even East Cheddar. Have you been to any of them? Nominee shook her head. Oh, I know it's Castle Oblivion. She turned the, her gaze away. I've never been outside the, of the walls. So I considered this for a moment before he grabbed Nominee's hand. One day, we go and see all the walls. You, me, we, you, and, and her. Sure. Nominee trailed off. She smiled. That sounds wonderful. So I hold out a gloved pinky. Promise? There were, weren't many things, if anything, weary that felt familiar. This, though, this felt white. Nominee hesitated. Are you worried you forget? So Sugar said. I don't forget promises. Nominee smiled and ended up trying her pinky with his. Promise! So I was going to have to write it this down. Or get Nominee to draw it. He never wanted to forget a promise. Wasses, day 53. Justin had returned from Castle Oblivion. His report was missed. They had lost several members. Though, Je Justian didn't seem to know who exactly. He had also said that their mission was successful, whoever that mission was. Wasis didn't care. There wasn't any news about Asshole. Was he among the decrees? Wasis didn't like to think about that. It made his chat hurt in a way he couldn't describe. After the meeting, Wasis wandered the halls, but this, he found, only seemed to make his chest pound and his hand tress. He couldn't even find Sion to talk to her. Then he followed the girl that helped cheer him up when he was sore. Kylie! The name, though, didn't seem to bring an image to mind. He had to go and visit her, though, to let him know he was okay. Well, we literally. He wasn't so anymore. Hadn't been for a while. But still, he should go talk to her. His mind made up, he opened a portal to Destiny Islands. 
The seaweed muffled his hail as he stepped through. Watson closed his eyes and took a deep breath. Then something new gripped his chest. Nostalgia. Watson observed the beasts around him. Bill, Tadius, Walker, and Selfie had played together. Himself and Riku would play f fight nearby. Kari would often watch and would occasionally rarely join in. However, there was no one here. There must be on the main island. He figured that it wouldn't hurt to spend some time here, though. It was the first time he was seeing his home with his uh, with these eyes. Watson saw the powerful tree. The one saw Riku and Kyle used to hang out on. He approached it and took his Sora's familiar spot. He wasn't sure how long he sat there watching the Olsen until he heard footsteps behind him. Behind him stood a girl about his haze, or Sora haze, with short armored hair. Her angel eyes sparkled with curiosity and a little bit of suspicion. That didn't matter. It was Kylie. Kylie! We two watchers whispered. Who are you? She replied. Watson dropped his gaze. Another new feeling in his chest. He left a disappointment. I guess you don't recognize me, huh? Kari niggled her eyes. Like she was concentrating him. You familiar? N yet not. I look a little different, but I'm still him. Kari eyes sighted and widened. So? Wasps is not. Yeah, it's me. Well, I go by Wasps now, but I have all my memories from before. I'm his nobody. His what? Whenever I, he release your your heart and whole passion, that's how I was created. I'm sorry I took so long to come back to you. Kari shook her head. It can't be. I brought Sora back when he was a heartless. Walkers were away. She was white. That was definitely strange. Walkers fought back to her a couple of months ago. He remembered pondering the, the key blade into his chest and how cold he felt. And then waking up in Twilight Town. But then Kari's arms around him. Company was first missing with asshole and ice cream after. Making his way through famines of wolves with Donald and Goofy at his side. Walter didn't realize how much his head was aching until he felt a hand on his shoulder. He opened his eyes. When did he end up on the ground? Are you okay? Kari asked. There was concern in her eyes. Walter was inly able to get himself to nod. I don't understand, Himi said. He sat up. I have memories of being myself, but then I also remember being sore after I reached your heart. Everything's messed up. He was asshole over here. Well, well, Himi would know something. Kyrie's eyes widened again. Her face paled. If you have all his memories, even the ones after he came back, something must have happened to him. Watch this just Kyrie's saw his memories. It was hard at first to tell which were his and which were his somebody's. He didn't realize he needed to search for the memories that could Dominic and Goofy. Then it was most easier. We, they, defeated Ansem. I remember seeing you after. Then we got separated. Donald, Goofy, and I wondered what was left at the, of the inner world for a while. Then we ended up in this really grassy world. We found Pluto and followed him for a while, but lost sight of him. Then, lost his gaffes. There was a man in a black coat. One just like mine. Do you know him? Kyrie asked. Watson deserved the memory as closely as he could. He wasn't able to figure out, focus on it as well as he would like, but a man's figure was familiar. 
This only made Watson's more confused. Yeah, he immediately said. I work with him the oil season. His name is Marusa. Who's this oil season? What do they want with Sora? What? Hold on. Let me think. Watson cut it off. He turned away and started the pace. He was so nobody. But Sora's heart wasn't lost. He was returned to his body and was still independent of Wasps. They were coexisting, which Wasps didn't think could happen. Neither was the appearance of Malusa, who was on the CO team. The CO team? Wasps realized, what's that? Castle Brilliant! Some of the num the some of our number was sent there for a mission. They didn't say in the gallery what it was. Pamusa was there in Sora's memories. Maybe that was their mission to get him there. Do you have any of Sora's memories of it? Watson closed his eyes. He tried to come up with anything post post Marusa, though it was more difficult. These memories were less clear, but he had an impression. That he was in a very pristine white area. He was really just to Kylie. He look away in disappointment. I got all of Sora's memories a couple of days ago. It was all jumbled up and shattered. Like a fall off stream. The pieces have been lighting up though. And I'm sure these will too. Kylie nodded. When, you, when will you come back? Probably in a couple of days. How do you know if I hear anything else of the CO team? Kyrie smiled. Thank you. Hi, hi everyone. This is Emma 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But... So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time, bye!